Hi, and welcome back to Termite Tuesday on a Wednesday. Since yesterday was the 4th of July, we decided to enjoy the holiday and move our weekly update to today. Thanks for joining once again as I continue working on assembling the mini house for termites. If you're new to this series, I've been working on building a mini house that will eventually be destroyed by a colony of termites. Today, I'm working on adding some decorative features to the home like a bay window, exterior trim, and dormers. It's probably not super important to the termites how nice the mini home looks aesthetically, but I like to be thorough. This week, I've also begun putting together the tank enclosure that the house will sit in. It's extremely important that we create an enclosure that not only mimics a termite's typical habitat in an average home, but also a secure enclosure that they won't escape from and infest our office. I've chosen to purchase custom-sized plexiglass sheets from Amazon, and I'm gluing them together with JB Weld Plastic Bonder. As always, I'd like to remind you how incredibly dangerous termites can be for homeowners. They can cause costly structural damage to a home and even decrease the property value. If not controlled, termite colonies can expand, even potentially spreading to neighboring houses or structures, leading to a larger scale infestation in the community. If you have any questions regarding termite services, please visit hawkspestcontrol.com and give us a call. That's all for now. Come back next week for another update on our Termite Tuesday project, and thanks so much for watching.